Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very tasty, famous Indian dessert. That's a Bengali sweet, Rasagulla. Um, it's most of the people's favorite recipe. I'm going to show you today. And uh, please uh, like and share my videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell icon. Here I have taken uh, a one liter of one packet of milk. Um, we need to boil the milk. Fully and uh, keep on stirring occasionally and boil the milk nicely. See here now the milk is uh, fully boiled and um, after this is boiled I have to switch off the flame and keep it aside for uh, 4 to 5 minutes. See now this is done I'm keep, I have kept for 4 or 5 minutes and I'm going to add in this. I have mixed two lemon juice, I have squeezed two lemon juice and two tablespoons of water I have mixed in that and I am uh, mixing the whole gradually so that the milk curdles, see now the milk is curdled and I have to strain all these with in a thin cloth. I've taken a thin uh, white uh, cotton cloth uh, and I'm going to strain everything. See I have to take a strainer and a thin cloth and I have to strain this and we need to wash this 2-3 times with the plain water so that the lemon sourness and everything will go off. So I need to wash this 2-3 times with the water. And squeeze out the excess water just squeeze out fully squeeze out the excess water and let it uh, set for a uh, half an hour at least 30 minutes just keep it aside don't squeeze the whole water let it be little moistured don't make it too dry Now after 30 minutes, I am taking out this uh, paneer and uh, I need to knead, knead it fully. The kneading process is the main process for the rasagulla. You have to knead it very well so that the, it doesn't have any crumble and uh, it becomes soft and smooth. And uh, the main part is like you have to knead it with the palm so that it comes out very well. The dough comes out very smooth without any cracks. It takes around, uh, this kneading process takes around 10 to 15 minutes. You need to knead it properly. And I am adding in this 1 teaspoon of all purpose flour or maida, whatever it is. You have to knead it again with your hands, with your palm. And make it into a soft ball. now it is almost done and this one I am gonna divide into small pieces to make a small balls see now it's very easy to make the balls see now I don't have any cracks also the ball is perfect here I'm making all the balls with that Now all my balls are almost ready, see here, without any cracks. Now I have, for the sugar syrup, I have taken one and a half cups of sugar in this. And in that I am going to add four and a half to five cups of water and let it boil. We have to keep it till the sugar melts and boils. And in this I am going to add a um, few strands of uh, saffron or if you want if you don't have saffron you can add a little bit of color or just leave it see the water is boiling now the sugar is also almost melted and in this I am adding uh, 3 cardamom powder when it is fully boiling 
you have to add the paneer balls in that you slowly you have to add the balls and let it cover this and let it boil in the high flame for uh, 7 to 8 minutes first in a high flame we need to boil this for 7 to 8 minutes and then reduce the flame in a low flame you have to boil again for 7 to 8 minutes in between you have to gently flip that balls very gently you have to flip the balls and then again close the lid and uh, let it boil for another 7 to 8 minutes in a low flame uh, make sure the sugar syrup is boiling uh, bubbling it shouldn't be too low now we need to close this and let it boil for some more time now all the 7 8 minutes is done almost 15 minutes totally 15 minutes is more than enough now it's almost done see now let it cool for 4 to 5 hours at least here you go the rasagullas are ready to serve it's very easy to make just make it and let me know how it is and make sure you watch all my videos and share my videos if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel